Hey, how is it going everyone? My name is Clark. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have kind of an unexpected video. I was out on the beach as you know, as you do, and as you can maybe just see behind me and right there, the little things that squirt water out of the sand, uh, I decided to finally shovel at one. Since I know that not many people have a shovel, I haven't seen anyone else, you know, catch one and seen what it's for, but obviously, they are clams. As you can see here, this manila clam could be used as fishing bait. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe, so I haven't seen anything else, or anything else here. Um, so apparently, we just got an idea for a DIY recipe. We're gonna catch a bunch of these guys that I can see here. And then we're gonna go up to our DIY workbench. Looks like there was one around here. Although they do tend to move. Nope, there he is. All right. Okay, three should be enough. Let's go ahead and take it up to our DIY workbench or workshop. I keep forgetting the names of it. I'll get there one day, I promise, guys. Let's take it all the way back up. And if you didn't see my how to get every fruit in Animal Crossing New Horizons video, check that out. That's what all of these trees are. And we got two little more apple ones over here, this one and that one. But we got every single fruit in the game now. Uh, we got coconut down here. And then right over here, we have a bamboo growing as well. And there we have a rocket. She's just vibing, hanging out on a tree. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. We're going up here to my tent to my DIY workbench and we're gonna see if I got some kind of a new recipe for fishing bait because the fishing bait is in the game oh my fishing bait is officially in the game guys let's craft three things of fishing bait wow you crafted fast okay let's keep crafting let's just make all of our clam shells uh, into that for now we'll catch more later for the museum. Um, I'm filming this the same day I filmed my first Let's Play video and that fruit video. Um, so I still haven't finished the construction of the museum. Blathers is yet to move in, but he will be here hopefully tomorrow. Whoops, I didn't mean to keep crafting. We have done all the crafting we've been able to do. I don't have, no, nothing else really that I need or want to craft. I still haven't got a slingshot for those. Um, balloon things yet. Well, let's go back down to the beach here. Let's try to find a fish Let's whip out our fishing rod. Do I have to do Do I have to select something in here? Scatter food Aha, I see so we're gonna sprinkle it into Oh so I don't know that it catches us new fish, but it attracts fish to come. So it basically just spawns in a fish for you. Let's see if this guy will take the bait. Reel him in. Oh no, that is a new fish. A football fish. Huh. Okay, should I do it again? Like, is that... I want to know, is this getting, whoops, I'm not close enough, is this getting me new species of fish, or is it just, because one appears immediately. Now, I've never caught that one, but I've also never fished at this time of day, so we'll see if this is also a new one. It most definitely is. A sea butterfly word, wow, okay. Let's throw our last bit of bait in here. I w I'm starting to assume that this is just a fish spawner, kind of in a way. Whoops. Not looking the right way. I definitely don't think this doesn't get you any new species or anything. I think it's just... Here are... Here's a fish that's now catchable. Wow, I'm really bad at this. There we go. He should swim up and see that. Oh, is Rocket gonna get that butterfly? I pulled it out because... Come on, Rocket. Come on. No! Okay, let's try to catch. Here's one right here. So is it still in the same spot or I'm not sure. 
Let's catch a bunch more of these things, and I'll get back to you guys in a moment here. Whoops. Come on, fill in that hole. When we've got a whole bunch more bait, and we can hopefully get back to doing some fishing. We've gained some nook points before I was just about to cut away. We got some nook points for clam and co oh, clam and collected. I get it. Haha. -ha. There we go. Some nook miles points. Absolutely wonderful. All right. Now we're going to cut and I'll see you guys when we have more fishing bait. All right, guys. So I was able to make us 11 items of fish bait. So we're going to head back down to the beach, throw some in the water and get back to doing some fishing. I think my inference and what I'm going to tell you guys that is not 100% confirmed just out of my brain is I believe that the bait only attracts fish. It doesn't attract new ones. It's just here's a fish for you to go at. That's that's my best guess. I think I described that the, to the best of my abilities. I think that's all it does. Either way, I think it's an absolutely great idea. I haven't seen anyone explain it up to this point. It's like, I've already gotten that fish. So, but honestly, I really like the idea. It's really useful. Because I don't even have to move. We can just keep going like this, catching fish. And hopefully it's a new species. You know, every once in a while. That's how it wasn't. That's a squid. Definitely have caught one of those before. This will probably be another sea bass, knowing my luck. Yep. You know what? We're gonna move. We're gonna move the, to a different location. We're gonna go right here in a little rocky area. And I think it's called a delta. I believe is the correct river terminology for this this location on a river. When it opens up, I believe it's called the delta. Oh wow, they bit quickly. And it, it does look like a new one. Oh no, it's a dace, okay. All right, well that, ladies and gentlemen, is how fish bait works in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I am so glad that you decided to take the journey along with me discovering what it was like. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you found it useful, do consider dropping a like and subscribing so you don't miss out on any more Animal Crossing New Horizons content. That's all for today. Bye-bye.